Zia mengine mtazamaji tukisonga mbele ambapo kamati ya bunge kuhusu bajeti imeongeza matumizi ya bajeti ya kitaifa kwa takriban shilingi bilioni miambili kuja bajeti ya nyongeza ya mwaka alfumbiri shina tatu mwaka alfumbiri na shina nane. Hii ni kufikisha bajeti ya kitaifa shilingi trilioni tatu nukta tisa tano. Kamati hiyo imeshikilia kuwa mbali na mambo mengine eh, bajeti nyingine hii ni kutokana na mahitaji ya kulipa deni la kitaifa pamoja na riba ambayo uongezeka kutokana na kufunguka kwa ama mfumko wa bei na asa shilingi ya Kenya dhidi ya dola Kamati ya bunge la kitaifa kuhusu bajeti kiongozwa na mwenyekiti Ndindi Nyoro kufikia sasa imeongeza matumizi ya bajeti ya taifa kwa shilingi bilioni 187 ikilenga kufikisha nyongeza ya shilingi bilioni miambili kupitia bajeti ya nyongeza kulingana na kamati hiyo ongezeko hili la matumizi limetokana na ongezeko la matumizi katika sekta muhimu za dharura ikiwemo mahitaji ya kulipia ongezeko la riba inaotozwa madeni ya Kenya from the time we read our budget in June to date we have had to revise our interest repayment by 145 billion Kenya shillings. This is as a result of the increment in, ex in, in interest rate locally and globally, but also majorly out of the variations in the dollar from the time we read the budget. Aidha upanuzi wa matumizi ya bajeti umesababishwa na hatua ya kuongeza fedha katika sekta muhimu za uchumi ikiwemo sekta ya kilimo na elimu. We are adding 8.25 billion Kenya shillings into fertilizer subsidy. We have provisioned over 1.2 billion Kenya shillings that will go into paying farmers in terms of areas they are owed across the country. We have been able to capitalize or to add more money into our JSS capitation that is around 5 billion, uh, uh, billion Kenya shillings on JSS. We have also been able to add more money into help and to also capacitate the new university funding model area, uh, making it a reality. Hata hivyo kamati hiyo imeshikilia kuwa mapato ambayo serikali na lenga hayajabadilika. Vincent Odur, NTV. Mtazamaji tukiachana na hayo ni kwamba waziri uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkomen na mehusisha pa linalovuja katika uwanja wa ndege wa kimataifa wa Jomo Kenyatta na utepetevu na mapuzi ya serikali iliyopita Murkomen na de serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilirithi miradi iliyolema na miradi iliyofanywa ovyo ovyo hasa miundo msingi akizungumza katika ziara yake kukagua uwanja wa ndege wa Diani County ya kwale Murkomen alisema sasa serikali nalenga kujenga kitovu kipya katika uwanja wa ndege wa JKIA ambacho kinatarajiwa kukamilika katika kipindi kisichozidi miaka mitatu. And today they completed fixing the the pipes there were smaller pipes that are carrying water that they said that because of the structures the temporary structure that is in place when the aeroplanes take off and land Uh, with the heavy vibrations they delinked those pipes because they are of lower standard and they are smaller so we are trying to fix the the pipes at the moment and we are at the same time uh, this is a temporary measure and working progressively to make it more long lasting even as we wait for the new terminal i i asked them to say that we are building a new terminal under ppp and that terminal is going to be ready in three years na ule contractor na engineers walisimamia kazi hiyo lazima wajibike wa, wa uh, watuambie ukweli wa mambo ile scope ya kazi ilifanywa ilifanywa aje mpaka kwamba ikinyesha zaidi ile uh, airport inavuja na kwa sababu hiyo nime ninangojea ripoti ya KA and I want to assure the country that we found dilapidated in, infrastructure in the in the airport sector a extremely abandoned Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for so many years for more than 10 years Jomo Kenyatta International Airport has been neglected that is why the chickens have come home to roost you see the way uh, the roof is leaking the generators are not working you saw the flooding within the airport all these things cannot be fixed 